Having been weeks since our last multi-day adventure, we were ready to embark on our first group trip of the year. Traveling with a group of good friends often leads to better adventures. On this journey, we were lucky to be in the company of some familiar faces as well as some new friends. Just past the Arizona border from California is the rugged beauty of the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. To fully explore Kofa, you probably need at least four solid days, but we only had the weekend. Um, and it's a beautiful day out here in the desert, overcast right now, perfect. The colors of the cactus, the mountains, everything is just beautiful. Weather's perfect, 66 degrees or so. So the Kofa wilderness out here encompasses over 664,000 acres and it is a wildlife refuge. Um, there are bighorn big sheep in the sheep. area. Um, what else did they say? Uh, mountain lions, uh, the desert tortoise, foxes. Um, we're hoping to catch some on camera, you know, and witness it with our own eyes as well. can't see them, but up there on the ridge are four bighorn sheep. Just kind of relaxing, looking at us, probably smelling us. And they're just kind of laying there, super camouflaged. It's hard to pick it up on the GoPro, but they're like right there. Skull Rock, Kofa. Bring a small little tent in there, right? Yeah. Be protected from the elements. Yeah, when you go in there, Trace, and I see how tiny you look in there. Not too shabby, huh? No, it's some pretty good digs in here. They've had fire. You could definitely there. see uh, the soot. Tell on it, yeah. Stain the rock. Yeah. And then they've kind of built it up here so that there's more of like a wind break to keep the wind out. Whatever. Oh yeah, look at the charring right here. Yeah. Let's see it. That's cool. Oh, Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more at what I've become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep Since now What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. And what's it called? Coquito. Coquito. Yes. Yeah, uh, shake, shake. A very famous Puerto Rican drink. There you go. Can I have it? Right. Cup, cup, cup. Oh my god. You gotta do it. Try this. Bam. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Coquito. It's um, in Tagalog, we say masarap. Yum. Since I retired. Yeah, I hear a lot of stories from that, from those around surrounding states. The hammers are good. Yep. 
After a relaxing start to day two, we headed out for a long journey on the trail. By the time we found our second campsite, we'd travel more than 60 miles throughout the Kofa Refuge. Every second of the day was filled with amazing scenery, fun trails, and enough banter on the radio to remind us why we love doing this so much. So this is day two. We're on the actual highway on Blacktop. We are making our way to another location of uh, Kofa because um, where we were at at that particular location you can't keep going down trail to hit up the other side of the trail due to the mountains. Kofa was a company um, that had a mine out here and I read that it was king of Arizona and they would mark their stuff with K of A and then it got run together to Kofa. To provide a little background on Kofa, it was established in 1939 primarily as a refuge for the protection of the desert bighorn sheep. However, conservation was put on hold during World War II as the area was used for tanks and infantry battle training under General Patton Jr. Despite several cleanups, you may still find live ordinances and other mine-related hazards in the wildlife refuge. You camped here last I camped time? I camped here last time I was here. Just um, the Does one rig? Or? Just myself, oh, by yeah. myself, yeah. Hey, Johnny. Does this go all the way through? Yeah, it loops through. We'll go past a couple cabins. Okay. Um, Very windmill. Cool. Trail gets a little rougher in one section. So we're going to have to use some skill, driver skill? <laughs> Maybe. Just heavy on the skinny Blind pedal. Blind luck. Let's use <laughs> heavy on the skinny pedal. <laughs> heavy on the skinny pedal. <laughs> Well, she's taking overdrive right now, so. All right. <laughs> but Chick you said ride. you said it was Ladies' Day, right? That's oh. it. Chick <laughs> ride. Chick <laughs> ride day. I'm getting yeah. just on the slide. My yeah. buddy that I go out, he's got a. a What'd you call it now? It's she drives. What'd you call it? Oh, she drives day. She yeah. drives day. So me and, me and Tracy um, in the white Tacomas were behind the wheel. So Mike and Randy are comms duty, navigation duty. And film duty, right? That's right. <laughs> Having fun, huh, Tracy? Had we remembered to put them ah. on, you know, my co pilot, that's her one job, so and she missed it. So, <laughs> yeah, I just told him, said, What happened with the manifold? He said, Oh, my co pilot, yeah. you know, he always blames me. Throws yeah. me it happens, us. it yeah, happens. In the microwave, it's not really that no, big yeah, job. yeah, or you would be eating a cold burrito, right? Exactly. <laughs> The vast landscape and solitude of the Wilderness Refuge provides unique recreational opportunities. The trails we encountered were scenic and could be rated easy to moderate with a few obstacles just to keep things interesting.
if you didn't have pinstriping before you were on this trail. You definitely do now. You didn't have a little buffing <laughs> to get some of these out. <laughs> ah, whatever. Uh, what is it? Uh, what do they call them? Badges of honor? Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Na nature, Nature's badges of honor. <laughs> Look at this. It's tight. We've hit some like, would you say it, nails on a chalkboard? Yes, nails on a chalkboard definitely through here. Oi, yeah, just like that one. Aye. <laughs> your front end's kind of turning downward. Yeah, then angle. Then when you hit the bottom, then you can turn your wheel and go. Yep. Go up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the scary part is if how, someone's going like this, drops in, and then immediately turns right while they're like this and they're gonna go tip up over. tip over to the left okay just, you know, first gear. Mylene, this is what we have back <laughs> turn around <reverse>. just kidding <laughs> first gear four low with double foot brake gas and just crawl into it just with whatever you do don't for camera do, purposes like this and immediately turn Look. right yeah. you know what, I wanna, I wanna it's kind of yeah it's kind of hard to tell it's kind of huh? hard to All tell but right. it's fairly deep i mean look i'm taller than joe up here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you might, you know, you got a rear locker, turn it on, because if you start spinning the tire, it will pull you through. Yeah. Yeah. So, as long as your wheels turn to the left, you won't roll over. Yeah. It's only when you turn to the right. Yeah. So, if you let this start to come up, now turn it. Day two of the Kofa Trail. Definitely a lot more action. This Lots trail, of, yeah, what'd you say? Lots of action. It is definitely a fun trail. It is not some straight shoot trail. It's undulating, um, lots of washouts that we had to navigate through. Three wheel motion. Oh yeah, definitely some three wheel action going on. So lots of fun, we're enjoying it. It's about 523 right now, um, sun's going down. We are almost close to camp, fingers crossed. Hopefully camp's available. That it is available. If it's not, what do we do? We keep going and we're gonna try and find camp in the middle of the night, but fingers crossed we find something. So you're gonna have to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and stay tuned to see what happens if we find camp or not. After a long day on trail, we were fortunate that our preferred campsite was available. Camp for the night was the old homestead site of the Wilbanks cabin. The Wilbanks family settled in the area in 1931 to establish a cattle ranch. As the sun began to set, it was clear our second night was going to be much colder than the first. Living in Southern California, we become accustomed to fire bands, so it was a welcome treat to be able to have a wood campfire to keep us warm for the evening.
right, we left camp, broke down, making our way out. We're headed to the Hoodoo cabin. And I'll tell you, yesterday was a long oh. day. How many miles did we do? 61 miles off-road. Yeah, it was, it was a true test of uh, stamina of the vehicles, our bodies, um, everybody survived. And we had an amazing night at camp. I'm glad we were able to find camp there at the cabin and that it was available. But great, great trail. Um, good obstacles, washouts. Um, it was full of adventure. Uh, today is pretty much make our way back to the uh, start of the refuge and everybody's gonna head home. Um, it's always sad when an adventure ends, but we're not there yet, so we're gonna we're keep still going. Enjoying it for now, right? Yep. And this going. is a fun little area driving through the wash. There's again some more obstacles to get through, and you know it's always gonna be ever changing is when you get storms coming through. So this is fun this morning as well. It's just been a great little trail all in all. So I highly recommend this area. And to really see the full refuge, we would probably need another couple of days because um, there's a whole south side that we haven't explored. So that just means another return trip back. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding, I'm easy kid. Wow, Kofa was amazing, incredible, all the world, all, all the words to describe just something nonstop fun. Um, over 106 miles off road, we're back here, we're airing up, back to civilization, we made it, the weather was perfect. Um, couldn't have asked for another wonderful trip with some amazing friends and amazing people. Um, you got to see the new faces, some of the old faces, and it was just another awesome adventure. Until next time, we'll see you on the, on the open, open road. road. Bye.